These days, most visitors to our province's capital arrive by aircraft or ferry. But prior to the commencement of the BC Ferry Service at Swartz Bay in 1960, many people traveled here aboard the legendary Canadian Pacific steamships that served the capital and many other ports up and down the coast. With their black hulls, white superstructures, and one or more smokestacks, they looked like small ocean liners. They were called the Princess Fleet because all their names began with the word princess. The Princess Marguerite and the Princess Patricia plied the daily triangle run connecting Victoria, Vancouver, and Seattle. The Princess Joan and the Princess Elizabeth were night boats on the same route. The night boats were a restful, elegant way to make the trip. They were popular with business travelers and became a traditional start to many a honeymoon. You would board the ship late in the evening and perhaps enjoy the spacious dining rooms, card rooms or lounges before retiring to your cabin. After a slow voyage, you would arrive refreshed the next morning with time for a leisurely breakfast before disembarking. The Princess Maquina was another popular ship, serving isolated coastal communities like Tofino and Port Renfrew long before they were accessible by road. At the end of its voyages, another ship, the Princess Mary, was hauled up onto dry land to become one of the city's most popular restaurants. Victoria was the Princess Fleet's home port. In the 1920s, this terminal was built, designed in a classical style by the celebrated Francis Rattenbury. Today, many years after the last Princess passengers disembarked, this beautiful building still welcomes visitors to our province's capital city.